So guys, recently Realme has launched this smartphone. This is a Realme X2 Pro, which comes with Snapdragon 855 Plus processor at the price tag of rupees 30,000. So I bought it and it's been like more than 20 days since I'm using it as my primary device. And I guess it's a correct time to review it. So hey, what's up guys, my name is Zaheer and this is the full review of this Realme X2 Pro. So let's begin. Okay guys, so let's start the review with the build quality and the design. As you see over here, this smartphone builds like a tank. First of all, I have to tell you that. On the front as well as on the back, it has a glass. Basically, it's a glass sandwich design and the sides are completely metal. Feels very, very solid in the hand. But the design could be a little bit advanced, I can say that, because it has a very, very old notch style design, which I don't like that much. But yeah, we have to sacrifice somewhere, right? But still, I feel the design is pretty decent it's kind of boring in my opinion but overall build quality is just fantastic over here but it has a camera bulge so you have to do mind that for protecting that the realme has provided this case and i feel the quality of the case is pretty good so i suggest you to use that case and moving to the front side we have this 6.5 inches super amoled display with the 90 hertz refresh rate this smartphone comes with 90 hertz refresh rate at the price tag of rupees 30000 which is insane in my opinion and talking about the display it is very very good not the very color accurate but you know the color saturation brightness very good the quality of this panel just amazing and talking about that refresh rate mm, wow <laughs> Guys, you have to use the 90 Hertz to feel the speed of the 90 Hertz. But the software is kind of limiting this 90 Hertz of this particular phone. But still, I feel the 90 Hertz panel of this smartphone is just amazing. No doubt about that. And then moving inside, we have a Snapdragon 855 Plus processor, Adreno 640 GPU, 8 GB RAM and 128 GB of UFS 2.1. No, not the 2.1. It has UFS 3.0 storage. And I feel that the performance of this smartphone is just incredible. The main limiting factor here is the software. Otherwise, the overall performance of this smartphone is just amazing. I have played some very high-end games in this smartphone. I will leave the card over here. You can go and check those videos out. In short, the performance is just next level. It's a Snapdragon 855 Plus processor, so you should expect the performance to be very, very top notch. And it is very top notch. And there is some minor heating issues. I can say that uh, it's not very alarming or something like that, but there is some minor heating issues present in this device. And talking about day to day performance, it's very, very fast, guys. Oh. Overall, day to day opening task, multitasking, RAM management, amazing. By the way, I have compared this smartphone with the Redmi Note 8 Pro which cost 15,000 rupees the speed of this smartphone with that smartphone so if you see that video I will leave the card you can go and check that video out with that said let's move to the cameras on the back it has four cameras the primary sensor is 64 megapixel then we have ultra wide lens 2x zoom lens and our depth sensor on the front we have 16 megapixel lens and overall picture quality of the lenses basically cameras are pretty good in the daylighting situation even in the low lighting situation we can take some amazing pictures and it does support a google camera by the way i have already made the video about the google camera of this smartphone if you want to see that i will leave the card overall i can say that the camera quality of this smartphone is just fantastic in the daylighting situation in the low lighting situation it performs good too but not the best and talking about the videos it can take 4k at 60 fps and I'm not that satisfied with the 4K video quality of this phone, but still they are really good at this price range. At this price range, I don't have to complain it because the cameras are pretty average. I can say that it's a 64 megapixel camera, as you know, but the megapixel is not everything here, but still the cameras are pretty good, very acceptable at this price range. Then moving to the battery life and the charging time. Now the charging time. <laughs> yeah, let's address the elephant in the room first. The charging time this smartphone comes with 50 watt adapter and that too that adapter is bundled inside the box at the price range of 30,000 rupees and that charger is freaking insane in my opinion i mean that charger charges this smartphone in just 28 minutes my god 
इट इज फास्ट इट इज वेरी वेरी फास्ट का इज आई मीन लाइक सीरियसली द चार्जिंग स्पीड ऑफ दिस स्मार्टफोन इज इट्स नेक्स्ट लेवल द बेस्ट इन दिस कंट्री आई गेस देर इज नो स्मार्टफोन चार्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजी दैट कैन बीट करेंटली दिस चार्जिंग स्पीड आई गेस द सुपर बुक टेक्नोलॉजी फिफ्टी वॉट चार्जर इज जस्ट इन एंड इट हैज फोर थाउजेंड एम एच बैटरी द ओवरऑल बैटरी लाइफ इज जस्ट फेंटास्टिक आई कैन से दैट नॉट द बेस्ट वन आई फाउंड बिकॉज द फोर थाउजेंड एम एच बैटरी एंड थैंक्स टू दैट नाइनटी हर्स डिस्प्ले uh we are getting around uh, one and a half days of battery usage at the medium usage but when you use very heavily it will definitely drain out in one day but one day battery life is completely possible with this phone so overall battery life and charging time i don't have any complaints here and uh, once again the charging time of this smartphone is just wow impressive good job realme good job Now let's talk about the software. Here I am quite disappointed with this phone. I mean, <laughs> what should I say? The software is not that good. It limits a lot of features of this smartphone. I mean, it is very very feature packed, no doubt about that. But it limits a lot of things. Like, uh, it limits animation. The animations are not that smooth. Even if this one has a 90 hertz panel, still I am seeing that there are some frame drops. uh when it comes to the animation the animation are not completely smooth as compared to the OnePlus 70 which i have recently reviewed if you want to see the review of the OnePlus 70 i can leave the card over there simply put i don't find it very very fast but i am hearing about the color OS 7 uh let's see what the color OS 7 brings us so yeah this is about the software i don't like it simply and talking about the sound quality of this smartphone it has a main speaker at the bottom and the secondary speaker at the top and both are equally loud it has dolby atmos and guys let me tell you that the speakers of this smartphone is just phenomenal like seriously it is very very good very loud decently clear to and the low end is like good like really good it sounds like a portable bluetooth speaker it is that good let's quickly test the speakers oh my god The sound quality of this phone is fantastic. Fine. Not bad. Sound quality is pretty pretty fantastic. I am impressed with the speakers of this smartphone and 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 the main thing, you know, this smartphone retains 3.5 mm headphone jack. Wow! <laughs> Thank you so much, Realme, for that thing, because OnePlus 70 does not have the 3.5 mm headphone jack, and the quality from the 3.5 mm headphone jack of this particular phone is just really good, not bad at all. I am like totally satisfied with the quality of the sound quality from the earpiece, from the speaker, and the 3.5 mm headphone jack. Now let's talk about the security. It has a front-mounted fingerprint scanner and a face unlock is also present with the help of the front-facing camera. Let's test the face unlock first. Three, two, one, done. It's very fast, like guys, as you see. And now let's talk about the fingerprint scanner, as you see over here. The fingerprint scanner is really, really good too. I mean, it is better than OnePlus 70 for sure. I have used OnePlus 70 as my personal device, and I have to say the fingerprint scanner of this phone is better than the OnePlus 70's fingerprint scanner, and the face unlock is very, very fast too. So overall, security of this smartphone is. covered so yeah overall this smartphone looks pretty fantastic and uh, talk about some pros and some cons the biggest con of this smartphone is the software that boring design no sd card support no ip rating and all those things and uh, the biggest pros of this smartphone is the display performance charging time and you know 3.5 mm headphone jack sound quality these are some of the best strength of this smartphone so yeah is that's all in terms of my conclusion at the price range of rupees 30000 i can say it's a very very good smartphone but it definitely hinders the experience because of the software so if you have a budget of 30000 rupees and if you can like uh, sacrifice the 3.5 mm headphone jack i can suggest you to go with the uh, oneplus 70 because uh, with the cashback and all other offers you will definitely get that smartphone at the 
प्राइस रेंज ऑफ रुपीज थर्टी थाउजेंड टू थर्टी टू थाउजेंड रुपीज एट दिस प्राइस रेंज दैट स्मार्टफोन इज बेटर दैन दिस वन स्पेशली इफ यू कंसिडर द सॉफ्टवेयर सॉफ्टवेयर इज मच बेटर ऑन दैट फोन ओवरऑल द फोन आर प्रेडी इक्वल अदरवाइज द परफॉर्मेंस इज जस्ट इक्वली गुड ऑन बोथ द फोन इन टर्म्स ऑफ माई कंक्लूजन आई कैन डेफिनेटली रिकमेंड दिस फोन टू माई फ्रेंड्स सो या दैट्स ऑल इन दिस वीडियो गाइज आई होप यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल इफ इट दैन हिट दट लाइक बटन शेयर दिस वीडियो विथ योर फ्रेंड्स हू आर लुकिंग टू बाई द स्मार्टफोन और एनी अदर स्मार्टफोन इन दिस प्राइस कैटेगरी इट विल बी वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर मी एज वेल एज फॉर दैम एंड बाई द वे गाइज इफ यू लव माई कॉन्टेंट यू कैन सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल विद दैट बेल नोटिफिकेशन आई कैन सो विल बी नोटिफाइड बन आई पोस्ट न्यूज लाइक दिस थैंक यू सो मच वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो गाइज बाई